Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Troze, and y'all are live with Get It Out the Mud podcast. Um, shout out to my boy DJ Hybrid on the one. DJ Hybrid mixing up your airwaves. Yes, sir. Also, have to shout out my co-host Ella. She is around. She should be here soon. Y'all just you know just stay stay locked in. Um, also, my production team. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for helping me get this together because without you guys. It will be a challenge. So I got to shout out my guy, Myron, Henri, and Q. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, we do have a special guest in the building. This man is talented. This multiple commercials has the, had the opportunity to also have a cameo in Finding Raising Canon. And now currently is hitting numbers with his film that not only he was featured in, but he was the lead in Antoine. It's clearly right now y'all need to be on TV watching it. But without further ado, my guy, N- Nadiel Niles. How are you feeling today? What's going on, everybody? Happy to be here. Appreciate everybody. I appreciate you. Production team, everybody. Let's get it. Yes, sir. How you, how you feeling, man? How you feeling? Nervous as hell. <laughs> but right now, I feel like you are at your, like right now you are getting so many flowers. Like, bro, you did a phenomenal job in this film. Thank you. So, Thank you. I, and I know it can probably be a bit overwhelming, but you know how 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 are you pacing yourself with all of this with all of this attention, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, I would, I would say, say like, like I'm real into like uh like God and like praying mm-hmm. and like writing in my journal and just like finding that time for myself yes. outside of everything. So um, it is a bit of a struggle because now it's like so much attention at all times. Like sometimes I can't even sleep. I'm like, let me go look on Facebook real quick. I'm typing <laughs> in Antoine Tubi, Antoine Prime video, and I'm just seeing all the comments, but they're all good. Yes. So it's like, that's my confirmation right there to just like, you did your job, mm-hmm. just enjoy the fruits of your labor. And one should. of the moments in the film that really stood out to me was how you embodied the moment that you, you found your mother, right? Yeah. Like, for that, you're, you showed so much emotion, and it, it was believable. And it was just like, dang, I, I don't know that feeling, mm-hmm. but just how you portrayed it, it's like, wow. It was breathtaking. So definitely have to give you your flowers on that. Thank but you. how was it filming Antoine for you? I would say... You know, this is my first, you know, lead, my first film. Um, For me, I would say that it was challenging some days because some days, you know, like, I began to develop a good relationship with people on set, or like me and my director, uh, Jordan Marcel, AKA Fool. Like, and I just got comfortable around it, but sometimes he'll have to put me aside when I get there. He's like, yeah, today, like this scene, like, we ain't doing that. Like, mm-hmm. we're, not, we're not on that today. Like, just chill real quick. So sometimes I'll just pull up and I'll be asleep. And I let everybody else do their scenes, do their mm-hmm. lines. If I wasn't included in it, I got locked in. So, um, you know, sometimes I did have to digest that when I go home or on the way there. Or just like the, for instance, the scene where my mom dies. Yeah. Um, on the way there, I was kind of like challenging myself. So I was listening to sadness. Really not giving sadness. Does right. that make sense? Right. So it's kind of like you really have to d- dive deep to find that emotion, to pull it out. Mm-hmm. And that can be a challenge. Are you one of those individuals where you get on set and then learn your lines? Or do you actually prepare before you get to set? Because, <laughs> you know, there are some people like that. Yeah. I can be that person. Yeah. Well. I mean, it's it's funny. <laughs> not, to, not to put nobody out there, but like I always make sure I come and I'm prepared. Like, on point. Yeah. Like, for me, it just shows like a little bit extra, like that you care. Yeah. A little bit extra that I'm going the extra mile and that I'm not just half-assing it because when I, you know, when I applied and sent in myself tape for this role, I didn't think I was gonna get it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm so used to just okay, I do background this day. I do. I get a mm. I get a phone call from a producer and they'll say they like how I look and they'll they'll. Uh, feature me or, or give me a cameo, but mm-hmm. they're not giving me no line. They're not. They don't want me to speak. So I just take it at face value. Right. But what I had to understand was, this is not the biggest production in the world, but it could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you, yeah, you I like never. Yeah, I never thought it was gonna be on the news. I didn't even think it was gonna be on Prime Video. Fox Five, bro. That's Fox Five. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I'm like I said. I'm super excited for you. And so with that. Like you said, when you got the call saying that you was going to be the lead, 
how, how was that moment? <laughs> Man, I feel like it's one of those things, like, you know how you, you work hard for something mm -hmm. and you want it to come, but you don't really anticipate when it's coming or you don't know how you're going to feel when it comes yeah. because you're just so focused on, okay, I want to do this. I was always so focused on, I want to have a lead role. I want to do this. I want to be on this show and I want to, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. when I got it, I was still kind of in my head, psyching myself out like, okay, well, this ain't, you know? <laughs> But look at what it's created for me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I gained a hundred and like twenty followers in like a week. Wow. So it's like things are starting to turn over, mm -hmm. but still in my head, I still have that like there's more to be done. And it, yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You can but, never be content. Right. But at the same time, it does balance me and does show me that like it's a lot of people that I would be on set with mm -hmm. and then they would explain, like they would tell me, they'll always show me love and they'll just be like, It's your first film? Like I've been doing this for years, and I still, you know, they only get supported supporting roles yeah. and just little cameo roles here and there. So for me, I really had to take that in, humble up, yeah, and deliver. Cause that is a blessing. Mm -hmm. That is a blessing, and even for them to come to you to let you know, like I've been doing this, doing this for this amount of time, mm -hmm. and yet you have you you know you you're here. Yeah, and they're not. And so you have to take that and receive it and continue to push yourself. And I love the fact that you are humble about it and you and you know this is only the beginning. But you're also treating it as if it's one a big production because it is. You know, you make it, it what it is. Right. And you allowed yourself to be in this space. And this is this is why you're getting all of this attention because you're, you're good at what you're doing and you love what you're doing. And speaking of what you're doing, when did you when did you when did you decide that you want to be an actor? And whoever had the speech down packed perfectly it was like voted by the teachers and the students or whatever they were able to perform at the auditorium so i'm like all right cool i'm gonna do this little thing whatever so i literally made it to the bottom two and i was going against my best friend at the time his name was jamel his name was jamel <laughs> and he got that over me mm. and i really and i was studying like yeah. i was a little boy but i was studying and i was getting it yeah and I didn't realize what that was in that moment and how I really took it because I cried. I was upset, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Of course. I didn't understand. Um, but I just took that and I ran with it. So mm -hmm. then I moved to Plainfield. Shout out Plainfield. Because I'm I'm really like a Jersey head. I'd be all over. So mm -hmm. I should love to everywhere in Jersey. And I did a um we had a play at school, at Maxon Middle School. And I can't really remember verbatim how the film i mean how the the play went or whatever but i'm pretty sure because at that time i think i was class president okay. in eighth grade so i was always doing my little big one yeah every here and there but nobody really understood what i was doing because neither did i <laughs> um so i guess i was getting over that fear i was being in front of crowds i was being in front of people i was doing things so when i got to high school Piscataway, new jersey shout out chiefs shout out Peeway, all that um when i got to High school, I started taking diction classes. I started taking uh, classes with uh, stage, like stage, learning the stage, front stage, backstage, um, all, all of that stuff. So um, once I started doing that, I'm like, okay, so clearly you like entertaining. Entertain, yeah. How are you going to develop past the surface level? So I went to college. I started taking more diction classes, more public speaking classes. I think I done took... Uh, about three public speaking classes, public relations, all that. Nice. I went to Virginia State. So they, you know, they gave me that avenue to learn more. Mm -hmm. And I joined, <clears throat> luckily I joined the Mass Comm Club at school. I met a girl, her name was Safe. My uh, the my teacher or whoever you want to call her, Miss um, Williamson, shout out Miss Williamson, shout out Dion. Um, she was one of the people that really helped us understand because you know sometimes we don't take advantage of our opportunities especially as Absolutely. minorities we don't yeah. really we want to be outside we want to be you know drink and smoke and do whatever yeah but i had to really think like if i want to be in media i got to do stuff that's immediate exactly so they were providing us with trips to the radio station providing us with trips to to uh volunteers safe came in one day she she was doing something on like a set like a production and she said um, I'm just looking for some volunteers. You know, it wasn't a lot of people that came because people didn't really take Mass Comic Club serious. Mm -hmm. But now they're asking me to come uh, talk to the new kids, by the wow. way. So that's like a full that's circle so moment great. that I never really like understood. Because oh, when people came, I would never pay them attention, but it's like, 
That's so dope. Sometimes things resonate, and this is one of the moments. So yeah. right, and so that's when you decided to, because I know you went to, um, you did take acting classes, right? At Catherine right. And Russell, what is that? Catherine Russell Acting Studio in yeah. uh, Times Square. Yeah, and so and I love the fact that you actually de dedicated time to for your craft mm -hmm. to to allow your craft to blossom because right. you've been at it for a while. You know what I mean? And so and that's the thing. People don't really see that. Like people just see what what's in front of them, mm -hmm. but they don't really see the hard work behind how you got to where you're at today, right? Right. And so that's the beauty in it because it wasn't like an overnight thing. You've been doing that, and it's crazy how people can see somebody and like, oh, they, they, you know, they just got lucky. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not about luck; it's about putting in the time and putting in the effort yeah. to allow it to happen. And you did that, bro. Like you did it, and now this is where you're at. And it's only gonna come, go up from here. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. And so even with that, even with that being said, as an actor, how who who inspires you? Anybody real? Honestly, I would say um, my family. It's a lot of people I can name. Um, I started off by saying that not everybody is perfect, but everybody has qualities and traits that I've learned from, and I was able to mold myself into who I needed to be in order to be here in front of y'all. So like my dad, my mom, um, my dad taught me to like, just be a man, like take it, take it to the chin, like don't let too many things, you know, get to you. My mom taught me, you know, um, just how to carry myself and just not being scared of anything. She would always say there's nothing to fear but fear yourself. So I never, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain things. My Aunt Kim, she told me how to be clean, how to show up like this, you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's a lot of people, my brothers, um, my aunts, my uncles, but inspiration-wise in the industry, I would definitely say Jamie Foxx. Love Jamie Foxx. Will Smith, Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Cause me and Michael, we from, he from Newark, I'm from Jersey City. So they, that's like neighboring cities. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? He Aquarius, I'm Aquarius. So it's like, I just could see a lot of myself in him. And mm -hmm. when I watch his interviews, uh, he just did an interview like this week. I forget the guy, the guy's name, forgive me. Um, but and I listen to him talk and he just says like he has like this guilt of being successful and other people around him aren't successful. So um that's something that I could resonate with because where we come from, it's like it's either you work here, you work at the post office, you do mm -hmm. carpentry, you do this or whatever. Yeah. And when when I remember when I first started saying I wanted to be an actor, like wasn't you know yeah it, it was what it was but now i think that once i like me doing this film me doing antoine is showing that i can do it yeah um so and i was saying non-believers too right <laughs> right you got to turn non-believers yeah. into believers so shit, i'm my own inspiration too at the same yeah. time yeah. but some days i really just gotta really like look at what I'm doing and give myself some credit because you have to. If I, if I get everybody else the credit, it's like what's left for me. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, you you pushed yourself to do it. You're the you're here now because you wanted this. Right. So you put in the work. So yeah, don't never doubt. Like yeah, you have to give yourself a, yourself a pat on the back every day. Right. Because you get up and you do it. Yeah. And also with it, so okay, this role was more of a serious role, right? Definitely. So in your next role, what kind of character would you like to? act or play um i i would definitely say that this role was a perfect start for my career you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like I, i'm i'm always worried about like if i'll get typecasted if i'll always mm -hmm. play the young boy if i'll always play this or play that but i know what i'm capable of if i gotta gain 15 pounds for a role I bet you I gained that 15 pounds. If I got to so grow up to a 50 cent, like, you know, 50 had to lose a lot of weight. And I might I not even know. How did that film turn out? Yeah, I don't know, but shout out to 50. Um, I think Power Origins is on the way, and I would love to be on it. But what I would say. Speak that shit. No, speak that shit. Yeah, say that yeah. shit again. I would love to be on uh, Power Origins. It's a new, I think, a new series with Omari Hardwick's younger self. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah, so today I actually told everybody to tag me in the comments. So I'm like spamming the hate. So make sure y'all tag him in the comments. Right. So at, at, this, show. at this is 50. I think that's the that's the tag. But um, wait, what, what was what was the last? The question was basically um, other characters that you would like to play. Okay, yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm multifaceted. So I would like to do uh, kind of funny roles like Twenty One Jump Street, mm -hmm. things like that. Um. 
films that inspire me, like Boys in the Hood, Baby Boy. I would do films like that because I've already put that range out there, mm -hmm. you know, with Antoine. So I feel like I can do that. Um, I would do swimming films, like another film like Roll Bounce. I could, I could do a time piece, like okay. I could do anything. So okay. I, those are the things that I want to do because I don't ever want people to be able to downplay my craft mm -hmm. and I'll put and you just, in the box. Yeah, and just say that I'm just comfortable doing one thing because right. I I try everything and I know I'll be good at it. And if I'm not good at it right. the first time, I'll correct it and I'll turn the non believers into believers. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what it's about. And so I know you're also interested in writing. So right. um, and directing. Mm -hmm. So do you feel anytime soon you're gonna be working on any projects of your own? I feel like right now why you got this hype. I really feel like you should. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but how do you feel about that? And where, where are you in that process? So I would say I like to focus on one thing at a time because mm -hmm. I realize a lot of times when I try to do a whole bunch of stuff, like, what is it saying? Uh, a, a man that, a man of many talents or something like a man of many talents is a master of none. Mm -hmm. So... I like to take my time on everything. Like, I want to write a book. I want to, you know, I had a cologne line. I want to bring that oh, back. Nice. Okay. I want to do everything. Like, I want to be like a full mogul. Like, I don't want to yeah. just be comfortable with just acting. I yeah. don't want to have to sit around and wait for somebody to give me a script. Yeah. I want to be able to give people scripts. Like, once I get nice. my platform, I, I could chill up acting for a little bit. Now I'm the director. Now mm -hmm. I can sell this. Now I can do that. But that's, and, yeah, no, I I hear you. I feel you. I understand it. Trust me, because I'm in the same boat. But it's kind of like it's a challenge. Yeah, it's so challenging when you are so talented in so many different spaces, right? Yeah, and you're trying to figure out, okay, so what should I really focus on right now? Mm -hmm. Because I want to focus on all of them, right? But it's not that easy, right. <laughs> you know, because you then you get kind of sidetracked because you're trying to delegate time into this, that, and the third, and you you lose yourself and you get you you, you do become overwhelmed because you're trying to do so many things at one time. Absolutely. For me, I think right now I'm um I'm at a good pace. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to you know overexert myself with absolutely not other things that I already know that I'm gonna do. I just want to you know be in the moment, enjoy this Antoine right now, and then because I'm always thinking about what's next. But I've been conditioning myself the past few weeks nice. to just appreciate. Mm -hmm. The now, because yeah. in June, at the end of June, in July, this wasn't a thing. Mm -hmm. I was still just, I never had a lead role. I never had any of that stuff. So I got to be able to appreciate the moment because I don't want to always be fishing for more. Yeah. And by the time I get more and more and more, I'm still not satisfied. Mm -hmm. So I just always want to just be in the moment. Yeah, I can understand that. I can appreciate that. So... You guys, definitely a great interview, but we have so much more for you guys. Um, so we're about to take a quick break. We're about to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back. And um, my girl, Ella, she is about to go ahead and drill my guy. We're about to play a game. The game <laughs> is called If I Send You This. So I'm pretty sure y'all heard of it before. I ain't even going to go into detail details because I'm going to let Ella do it. But make sure y'all stay locked in to... <laughs> Get it out of the podcast, and we will be back. Peace. co-host on Get It Out The Mud podcast. We're sitting right here with one of the biggest, most newest, upcoming stars, Nadell Knowles. Right now, we're going to break it down a little bit and just play a game with him, get in his head a bit, but laugh while we do it. Does it sound good to you? Let's do it. Sound good. So, <laughs> the game that I have brought to you is called If I Send You This, Okay. What Do It Mean? So, do you ever have somebody, like, you can't really say it in words, you might say it in like a facial expression. You might say it in a picture. You just kind of got to figure out what you're talking about, big dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to break that down into a game. You ready? All right, let's do it. You sure? I'm ready. You about to? <laughs> I'm sure. All right, let's do it. So the first one is, do, do I hit a button? 
That's not what it means. If I send you this, mm -hmm. what am I trying to tell you? Demon time. What does that mean? You can do demon time. You can say demon time. Are you, are you, are you upset? It's more so, I mean, we can say demon time. If I send you this, I'm like, you mean business. listen here, what's up? What, my nigga, we finna get into some shit. You with me? Yeah. You with me? My nigga. My nigga. <laughs> My nigga. Like, okay. you with me? We here with it. We here you. with it. You get it? Yeah, yeah. We here? Okay. So so you just feel like demon time, that's it? I mean, it was like some something going on. What type of demon time? Wait, what you on? It's the parents. What you, wait, you said, you said it to me, so. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> we cheers to that. So if I send you this, what I'm telling you, big dog. Oh, you messy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> we about to get into something. And luckily, I don't got shit to do with me. Is. Mm. Spill some tea. Shit. Spill some tea. Keep out. Shit to do with me Keep if it's Cat Williams. <laughs> Shout out to Cat Williams, though. Uh, great interview. But yeah, Period. That was some messy shit going on. One more. If I send you this. If you send me this, I'm gonna switch it up. If you was to send me this, if I was to send you, you gonna send me this. Okay. What you trying to tell me, big dog? What does mean? Oh, 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 oh! There's a sound effect. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Nadell. <laughs> real, 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 real. The people wanna know, Nadell. <laughs> the people wanna know, Nadell. What does mean, Nadell? What does mean? What does mean? What does mean? <laughs> so shit going down, big dog. Shit going, shit going down, big dog. So get more that. into this because I did. I tried to do a little research on. Okay, you. I see. Because I didn't. I tried to do. To I did. Some, I did some digging. Yeah. I did some digging. Get more into it. Get more into it. So, like I said, I do want to be a writer one day. Um, I've never specified what type of writing I want to do. I wouldn't necessarily say the Mona Scott route, you know, but shout out to her. Um, shout out Issa Rae, because I definitely would go that route. I'm into the little aqua comedy, things like that. Um, but that right there, that was just some messy shit. I, I, got I developed you. a long I got you. I got like me and my bros were on vacation and these niggas but is chatty. They chatty, they chatty. Y'all was lit. But we have a we great time. Such a good time. And that's like real brotherhood. We was young. That was my one of my first times being out the country. Mm -hmm. And I'm with, you know, some of my best friends that I just met, college or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we just had a good time. Yeah. We filmed it. That's us on a daily basis. Like we get, not a daily basis. We get into, oh, y'all uh, lit. Yeah, they, they came to my movie premiere. Like yeah. people really like they really be there for me. They really support me. So it goes past it goes past friendship. You know, I went to college in 2016. I graduated 2020. So it it's like, it's 2024. So we develop in a family level. You get what I'm saying? So we could do a little banter, a little whatever here and there, but it's all love at the end of the day. Of course. I love it. So where do you think your next trip? Because soon you're going to get these big million dollar box office movies coming in. We're about to take some real big vacations. We're about to be worldwide with it. Where's y'all's next vacation at? So, I don't know where we're going next, but we definitely have been talking about uh, going to Canada. We met some girls when we was in Tulum, because we always traveling. So, we met these girls when we was in Tulum. They told us they work here, they work here. She works in a hotel, she works here, she works in a restaurant. So, when I go to, to Canada, it's lit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, period. Shout out to Drake. Yeah, so I got a, <laughs> I got I got a, I got a couple connections everywhere, so I, I need to make my way around the globe. I got my passport, don't expire till twenty thirty. So oh, period. I'm gonna see he the knows world. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. the world. We love it. We love it. Well, thank you for playing the game with me, big dog. Of course, thank I really you. Appreciate you, of course. And so maybe next time when you come through after you sell your big box million dollar album, million dollar movie. We have a better game for you, big questions. Of course. Best questions. And thank you for kicking with us, okay? And thank you. I'm, it was amazing. Appreciate you, Nando. And as Ella getting the hell on from Get It Out the Appreciate the fact that you came, bro. Um, thank, you. thank you so much for sharing your story of 
how you really had to get it out the mud too, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're here to share so someone else can feel that they're not alone, right? This right. Is the, that's the point of having this platform is to allow people to come and tell their story, to motivate and inspire others to, you know, get up and go for what they want. Absolutely. And so I love the fact that you you have a story of where you started and how you got to where you, you're at today, which is amazing, bro. So I'm definitely giving you your flowers. I know this is only the beginning for you. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to all of the other inspiring actors um, out there? I wouldn't even cater it to actors at this point. Right. I would say, um, Anybody, people of color, um, anybody that's a minority, um, our struggle is a little different, but we're not going to make that, you know, our alibi in this instance. So what I will say is just anything that you want to do, you just make sure you follow that. You follow everything that comes to your brain and you bring it into fruition because you don't get those thoughts, those ideologies for no reason, right. you know what I'm saying? So if it's a positive thought, if you want to write a script, if you want to, you know, have a clothing brand or do this or do that, uh, just do it. It doesn't matter how many people, you know, right. are doing, is doing what is in that particular lane. Right. Because every lane is oversaturated at the end of the day. Actors been doing this since 1901, like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm, and I'm and I'm and I'm new to this. I'm only four years in. Yeah. So anything that you want to do, you just gotta have tunnel vision, focus. Don't worry about anybody else. Don't worry about support. That comes later. Guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in to get it out the mud podcast. Um, we definitely got some more talent coming up. But stay locked in and make sure y'all go check my boy out. Go, if you haven't checked out Antoine. Go to Tubi, Amazon Prime, check out Antoine. Make sure y'all follow my guy. And I did like, the boy is, listen, y'all wanna get in now. Yeah, 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 follow me on uh, all my social media platforms the same. My Instagram is at that's Del, T-H-A-T-S-G-E-L-L. My Facebook, not Del Norris. My TikTok, at that's Del, uh, T-H-A-T-S-D-E-L-L. Uh, shout out to uh, Fool with the Camera on Instagram. Shout out to Trey Cheney. Uh, shout out to the, to the other Trey. Shout out to Taylor. Shout out to Shawnee. Shout out to Kiara Guest. Um, shout out Jit. Shout out everybody that was a part of this production. And just everybody that made this moment, you know, come alive. You get what I'm saying? Like, this could have been something that came and went, but it's here and it's sticking. It's sticking. Yeah. You know what? So, the popular, like, number one with um, Yeah, we still most yeah, popular on Tubi right now. Yeah. We still on Amazon Prime. So look up Antoine, A N T W A N. And my name is Nadel Nov, N Y D E L L N A L L S. Don't forget the S. <laughs> Check him out. I appreciate everybody that get out the mud. We get it out the mud. We get out the mud. Yes. Until next time. Peace. Yes. Yes.